Hey guys, you caught me as I'm covering up a car that you're not supposed to see. Uh, so um, come back uh, after this brief word from our sponsor where, uh, well, maybe I'll show it to you. Maybe. Well, come back. You'll see. It took a while to get up here. We started out around 1959. But we didn't do all that just to get here. We did it to give you a truck that'll take you anywhere. This is the new Nissan. Oh, uh, Rowan, what are you doing? I'm, I'm covering up the brand new uh, 11th generation uh, Honda Accord. I mean, obviously, we can't show this, can we, Case? I think we can show it. That's right. We are here at a secret location where Honda has given us early access to the brand new 11th generation Honda Accord. Now, keep in mind, this vehicle has been an iconic sedan since 1976 case. How old were you in 1976? Uh, I was not very old. <laughs> I didn't exist, in fact. <laughs> so, so one can say that this car, well, the first generation is older than you are, huh? By a good bit. All right, well, let's show them because I've, only, I've already seen this vehicle. And I got to tell you, I like it, dude. All right, yeah. so here we go. You ready? Let's see it. All right, here we go. Slow or fast? How fast should I go? Oh, I think you've got it nailed. Is this, Look a, is this a good speed? Does yeah, this, this uh, tease enough without giving everything away? The perfect speed to right, reveal on, a brand one, new car. One, two, three. Look there you go. That. Yeah, so this is it. This is the all new 2023 Accord. And I don't know about you, Roman, but the first thing that strikes me looking at this car is the word sleek. Yeah, I like it, dude. I really like it. You know, I thought for a while sedans are dead in America. Obviously, everybody's going into that fancy new crossover slash SUV vehicle. But look, this shows that a sedan still has life because I got to say, it's both modern and I would say classic and sleek and sexy and all the S words I can think of. Yeah, it's very long and very low in its appearance. It's it's a really nicely proportioned car. Yeah, and the goodness doesn't just end at the front. Come back here, let me show you this uh, tail. Uh, I, I love the lights, yeah. the way that they come across the back of this, huh? Yeah, so they didn't do quite the full width of the light bar, but that's okay because most new cars these days seem to have a full width light bar. I kind of like that it breaks in the middle there. Now for all of you internal combustion engine fans, you'll note that this is the hybrid touring. So uh, it still has a traditional internal combustion engine. And when we pop the hood and show them, because Honda believes that we're going to have to get weaned off of <laughs> gasoline and onto electricity. So this is kind of that, you know, half step in between going fully electric. Uh, and of course, there are numbers that we'd love to share with you that we don't have, such as fuel economy, I hope and, you just pop the trunk. Yes, <laughs> fuel economy and pricing. Uh, and at the end of this video, I'll let you know when this will hit uh, the dealership because this is a very early preview. So what's under the hood, dude? So this is the more premium powertrain, the hybrid powertrain. So we have a two liter four cylinder engine paired to a dual electric motor hybrid system, total combined output, 204 horsepower, 247 pound feet of torque. And there's also a base powertrain, which is a 1.5 liter turbo, 192 horsepower, 192 pound-feet torque, and a CVT. But this is the nicer one to get. Yeah, in fact, we just drove that little turbo in the Civic, right? Yeah. That's uh, the same powertrain now. Honda says with the addition of this more powerful electric motor, and we don't know how big the battery is, they haven't announced that, uh, it's much more peppy and it's much more responsive. And of course, it's uh, much more front-wheel drive. Well, it's always been front-wheel drive. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I gotta say, Case, I am really, really uh, impressed uh, by what uh, Honda has done, especially in this red color. Now, I did pop the back by accident. Yeah. Uh, and check out look the size of this. Yeah, it's huge. Here, let's see if I fit. All right, well, sorry, Nathan. Oh, yeah, I'm taking over Nathan's <laughs> position as the uh, trunk monkey here, but... Sorry, Wow, Joe. I fit comfortably. I gotta say, I could uh, I could sleep back here. There's honestly there's space going way deep into this trunk, and this row of seats actually folds down so that you can open it up to the rest of the interior of the car, which means well, that you on. can fit even bigger objects. All right, all right, hold on. Now I gotta find out. All right, let's see. Let's see if this does pop down. Hold on. I'm curious. Uh, Lord, you sure this pops open? That's what they say. Uh, maybe maybe this this one doesn't. Is it not? Um, is that a 
Maybe this might hybrid be thing. maybe the uh, the hybrid doesn't pop. Maybe because there's a battery under the seat that might be the the oh. reason for it. It could be. So maybe only the base models yeah. pop open. Unless... Hey guys, we're learning. Oh no, those are anchors. Those are anchors uh. for child seats. Yeah. So this car is brand new. We're uh, we're, we're learning still about discovering it as you are. Um, so let's look under there. Nice. Uh, notice it has a um, yeah, missing a fix, spare tire. <laughs> a little fix a flat kit. <laughs> But uh, tell you what, why don't you hop in the front seat and I'll take the camera and let's look at... Uh, yeah, let's check out the interior because yeah. that's one of the things that the Accord does really well. Now, is it gives immediately, you a, dude, a I'm struck by the fact that there is a traditional gear selector knob. Yeah, this is getting harder and harder to find in brand new cars, but it's something that we love, having a physical shifter to pull back into drive. I've also got a number of different drive modes here like normal, economy, sport, if you get a hybrid model or individual if you want to select your own driving experience. And this being the top model car, you get this massive 12.3 inch infotainment display. And when we were walking around this car earlier as Honda was telling us all about it, I could not take my eyes off of this display because it's really impressive. Yeah, and it's cool. really fast. Yeah, that's Look really how cool. responsive that is. You know what this is like? This is like our Hummer. It's also running on Android, right? So uh, Honda says that now they've incorporated Google. Yeah, uh, so what should we ask Google to do? Tell a joke. Tell a joke? Yeah. Tell a joke. How do trees access the internet? How? They log in. <laughs> Wow. Well, dad, dad jokes at their best or worst. So, yeah. so there are three integrations of Google into the system. So there's Google Assistant. Yeah. Obviously, you can do more uh, interesting things like turn up the volume. Sure. <laughs> or you can tell it to uh, turn on the driver ventilated seat. Got it. Then, Turning on the seat that. fan for the driver. Which, yeah, so speaking of, we have heated and ventilated seats here. Now, uh, Honda will tell you that the reason they've gone with Google is uh, that it has more natural voice recognition. Right. Uh, and then, of course, you also have this, which is now integrated into the vehicle, so you don't have to use your phone, but you've got Google Maps. Yeah, you've got Google Maps. And then the third integration that you were talking about is the Google Play Store. So here, you can go in and download any of these third-party apps to use already integrated into your car. Of course, you've got wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as is becoming standard these days, but this screen has a actually a lot of functionality in itself. Yeah, I like this power flow. Interesting, look at that. Yeah. 533 miles of range, that might give you an indication of what the fuel economy is if we only knew the fuel tank size. <laughs> That's impressive. Something else that I like too, so we have a physical volume knob here, which is something that we always love to see. And even though there is this big impressive screen, check that out, Roman physical controls for the AC and really good looking ones, nice feedback from them. But we love having these physical controls because you don't have to tap into a different menu on a screen to get to them. This is something that you frequently adjust. So it's nice to have dedicated buttons for it. Now, if you're a fan of the new Civic, you'll be very familiar with this sort of, this is a little bit more of a fancy honeycomb. Yeah, look. It's, it's a different kind of, uh, it's a different kind of texture. And then also the, way that you adjust it is kind of unique. Well, it's very satisfying. Yeah. You hear those little clicks? It's got little clicks. Yeah, we could play yeah. like this all day long, couldn't we? <laughs> I wonder if, you know, you know what Tesla does, right? They actually make the steering wheel into a game controller. Yeah. I wonder if you could get like one of the games downloaded off of Google and then use this as be, your little... That would be interesting, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> they are going to do Kill over aliens. the air updates on these cars, so there's the potential for them to add features. And I did ask about, you know, obviously some of these things are a subscription service, right? Yeah. And they said that eventually you will have to pay for it. They're not sure exactly, you know. Yeah, like, long term. Like, yeah, like Sirius Radio where at some point it's going to start to cost money. But it does have over-the-air updates, which is really cool. Yeah. And look at this button. Look at that. Yeah. Is that presumably to run off of your battery? I mean, obviously we haven't. They gotten haven't. to do the drive program yet because the car is just coming out. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of just coming out, at the end of this video, I'll tell you when it will hit your local Honda dealership yeah. because this is a very early preview. You are lucky, my friends. You are seeing <laughs> <laughs> one of the earliest looks at the new Honda Accord. Now, let's look at this. This is still small, huh? Yeah, it's not yeah. not a massive sunroof, but it does have a sunroof, which is nice which nonetheless. Is nice. And then let me jump in the back seat. Yeah, sit behind yourself. See how you do back there. Now, I'm only 5'10", 
I'm not that big of a guy, but even so, Here, I could wanna, be. You want to show your legs? Yeah, I could be so a few inches go? larger than I am and still have a decent amount of space. And then, of course, in the back, we also have some vents for the rear seat passengers, some USB Cs there that are illuminated. Um, only a pocket on the passenger side seat, not on the driver's side, but still, I mean, some nice equipment to have here as a passenger. Now, looking at the controls over here, Case, you'll note that it has the full suite of Honda safety sense, right? So we're looking at autonomous braking, of course, lane centering, all the stuff that you would expect. Uh, tons of airbags. I forget how many, but... Yeah, I think it's eight. Eight airbags. Thank you for reminding me. Over here, you have USB-C ports. How about in the back? Any uh, any power ports back there that you yeah, can see? Yeah, so it's these two USB-Cs back here. Yep. And you get the same kind of thing up front. Now, we were just uh, checking out the new Honda Pilot, uh, and that's over at alltfl.com. Uh, but there they went with the USB and USB-C. So it's interesting that here they've gone with the, the new uh, USB-C ports only without the USB, which means that this is becoming kind of the go-to standard. Yeah, so there's no USB-A. But, you know, if you were to ask our resident tech guy, Alex, he would be happy for that because he's not a fan of the USB-As. I like how this works. Now, um, this reminds me a lot of our, you know, we have a new Hummer EV. This has a very similar uh, layout. We've got yeah, it's the, like a tablet. And we've got the Google the dash. as well. In the, and there's a partnership right now between uh, Honda and GM, so this makes a lot of sense, right? They've just announced that they're going to work on their next uh, battery-powered vehicle, which is going to be an Altium-based uh, powertrain, right, with GM. Uh, and so Honda and GM are kind of forming partnerships. Now, uh, this vehicle, guess where it's built, dude? Is it Ohio? It's built in Ohio, yeah. Yeah, how yeah, about so, that? So for all of you uh, Honda fans, this is a Ohio-built vehicle, uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see how much room I have in here. Pretty good. If you want to see what the key fob looks like, it's very small, very dainty, uh, and it's got, look at that, the little holds to stop and start it. That's nice. Yeah, that is nice, especially because we live in Colorado, so we're starting to get our cold mornings already. Yeah. Nice to be able to warm look, things up. There's the traditional in here. There's this traditional well that oh. once upon a time that used to the be twelve a, volt. Yeah, cigarette wow. lighter. Now it's a twelve volt. So you still, still have. Still got it. You still got that if you've got one of those old school fuzz busters. <laughs> 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 and check this out, dude. A volume knob. How yeah. cool is that, huh? Yeah, you gotta love that they've included the right amount of physical buttons. Not too much. The dash isn't cluttered but we have the most essential things, dedicated buttons for them. All right, well, let's uh, wrap this up. Let's go outside, show it to them again, because I think uh, both inside and outside are very neat and tidy, but I gotta say the outside looks uh, really good, dude. I, am, I haven't been jonesing for a sedan for a long time. You know, I'm more of the off-roader kind of guy or a truck guy, but I gotta say that uh, car in that burgundy, and I'm a sucker for burgundy, Yeah, is stunning. Yeah, I mean, something about the way that the body surrounds the headlight, it just gives it a very focused, sleek look. Yeah, it looks both uh, menacing and uh, kind of very intense, right? Like, it's like, uh, I was just watching this documentary on the plane coming over here about Tony Hawk and how he got into the spirit of trying to do all these tricks and he'd be so laser intense uh, in his head that he would completely, like, block out the rest of the world. That's kind of, kind of, kind of got that look, just, you know? Like it's so into whatever it's doing, it's just it's laser focused. It's you of Tony Hawk. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't think it's skateboards. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. I did promise to tell you when uh, this will be available. Uh, and Honda's being a little bit, uh, I shouldn't say coy, but certainly a little bit, they don't know, you know, supply side issues, but sometime at the beginning of next year, I asked, does that mean first quarter of next year? And they kind of smiled and said, probably. So, you know, if all goes well, you can probably get this sometime January, February, March of next year. And I would highly recommend you get it in this uh, super burgundy red color. Do you remember the name of this color? Ooh, of this red? I yeah, don't. Yeah, they told us. But it was, I always like to know the names of colors because I think that makes it fun. Yeah, it is a really sharp color. I mean, though. really, the only character line that stretches across the whole body is right there. Like, yeah. everything else is just smooth. It's very minimalist. Yeah, and very sleek. Uh, and I do love... Uh, I mean, even this, this red on red right here, Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, now, if this was another color, that wouldn't be red, but I love how that uh, doesn't contrast, and you've got the red yeah. taillights. It's just, it just like all these, works. these blocks in the taillights, too. I mean, everything about it, it's a yeah. really sharp design. Now, for my car, I'd probably take off these wheels, and I would go with something like a bronze wheel. Really? Yeah. I, I don't mind these wheels, so... I don't mind them, but I think a bronze wheel would look bad. So, the Sport... I'm not going to say it. The Sport and this Touring model, Sport models and this Touring model, they get 19s. 
Um, and then the rest of the lineup gets 17s, but I think these are good-looking wheels. Now, in terms of competition, you already know, right? The Camry, of course. Yep. <laughs> there aren't many left in this full-size uh, uh, sedan segment. But no, these it's two all have going been, towards crossover. These two have been going head-to-head, -head, well, since 1976, right? Um, or thereabouts. Uh, anyway, guys, let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, I am, you know, very rarely impressed, but I am honestly impressed. And remember, check out alltfl.com if you want to do uh, more of Honda with the new Passport, not the new Passport, the new Pilot. This is yeah. the third car we've done. I'm getting a little, <laughs> I'm getting Brad. a little goofy now. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Ciao.